Hi, my name is Anmol Seth. Uh, I have about seven years of experience in cybersecurity. I've been working with uh, Accenture uh, for this entire period of time. This is my first organization. Uh, I have worked in multiple facets of Accenture from Accenture Philippines, Accenture Malaysia, Accenture UK, primarily based out of London, and Accenture Saudi Arabia. Uh, professionally speaking, uh, my expertise lies in uh, technology consulting across SIEM, uh, EDR, um, security orchestration, uh, that's SOAR, um, threat hunting, and DFIR. Uh, that's the primary area where I focus and help my clients. All right. Um, I am a relationship manager, or in the most Accenture centric terms, uh, we call them client uh, relationship managers uh, for multiple clients across uh, UK. That's the area where I focus on and based out of as well. Um, I build and review solutions. Uh, around uh, different technology deployment across cloud, across cybersecurity and uh, threat hunting. Uh, I am also a capability lead for threat hunting, which means I have a team of multiple threat hunters and we support uh, uh, clients across the globe uh, for this particular capability. Um, I carry out multiple threat modeling exercise, which means uh, whenever a client is clueless in what they should do with their cybersecurity or to address the uh, threat actors or threat vectors they are relevant to, we carry out those exercises for them to decide upon the tools, technology, and the processes they should inherit upon. Uh, so that's something that I also do. Since I am the client's uh, specific lead and I interface directly with the clients, uh, my major goal and the area that uh, I most focus upon to do that is uh, building client relationship uh, as well as to understand their business. Uh, business relevancy is something that's very important to the core of uh, cybersecurity so that all the solutions that we build and place uh, and improve upon are very much relevant to the business case at hand. Uh, so that's what we do. Uh, we try to build a uh, client relationship as well as uh, um, try to understand their business case. My Since I'm very outcome-based, uh, the, the best thing that I uh, love about what I do is uh, talking to uh, different stakeholders and partners uh, and my, from the client as well as internally in my own organization and uh, try to derive uh, client-specific solutions. Uh, that's something uh, that gives me the most joy. Uh, to see things improve day on day is something that I take the most pleasure in. Um, so the ones which are currently active, I had some uh, some of them when I started working in cybersecurity. I don't think most of them are currently active, but the ones which are currently active is SANS GCFA, the ITIL version 3. Uh, I have certification in Artside as well as Splunk Architectures. I have certification in uh, Demistro, which is one of the sole vendors as an architect as well. Um, I have certification in IRAM. So those are the ones that uh, are the most recent ones. So uh, since I am a client lead right now in my own organization's terminology, the next step would be to become a market lead. Um, all of my clients are part of uh, the products line of base out of UK. So all the product companies that you might have heard upon are uh, most of them based out of UK are our clients. And uh, my next uh, pivot point would be to become an expert across this particular market space uh, inside the UK cybersecurity market. Uh, <laughs> there are so many, <laughs> uh, but the, the, the biggest one would be having a consistent reliance upon non-agile workforces. So as you know, cybersecurity is something that goes hand in hand with uh, other business partners, right? If you want to enable someone uh, with the niche as well as advanced piece of tech to solve their problems, uh, the baseline should allow us to do that. Uh, what we struggle in most of our cases is we have a uh, dependency across vectors which are not so mature uh, in their way of operating. They are still uh, reliant on legacy uh, methodologies, they, they still operate in a very non-mature cyber functionality, which, which makes our uh, life a much, much uh, tough one. <laughs> so that's that's something that uh, is something that bothers me a lot, uh, to have to slow down and uh, stall uh, progress in cybersecurity because we have dependencies across so many uh, non 
uh, mature vessels. But it's also an uh, area of uh, improvement. It, it helps us uh, derive solutions uh, which are much uh, dynamic in nature and help uh, uh, to build uh, solutions which help everyone across the vectors. Uh, since I have multiple roles currently uh, at the current organization, I work for the ones uh, in the technical uh, facets are uh, analytic platforms such as Splunk, Sentinel. I have access on, I believe, almost all the leading SIEM tools. I work primarily on EDR tools as well, including Carbon Black, Endgame. Uh, I have some access on advanced threat protection tools such as ATP. Uh, and then uh, I think it was called Dark Race, yeah. And uh, uh, user behavior analytics is also something I'm an expert of. Apart from that, if I think of orchestration tools, yeah, that's something that uh, goes up my alley because I'm part of this group called the L4, uh, which uh, primarily uh, leads our ability to uh, help our clients with the advanced set of uh, cybersecurity tools such as these. Um, other than that, I also um, work extensively on advanced firewalls, such as Palo Alto's and checkpoints, uh, and VAPs, so <laughs> the usual uh, bells and whistles, if I must say, of cybersecurity uh, SOC operations. So on technical front, uh, I'll come back to uh, the more non-technical -so -tech, non or managerial skills uh, or tool sets later on, but on a technical front, uh, Information analytics is something that is something uh, which I use on a daily basis, uh, deriving uh, uh, information out of data is something uh, that I have to do on a daily basis from talking about uh, network streams, uh, event logs, uh, packet captures, things such as this, which are very uh, technical in nature and very data uh, abundant. Uh, my job uh, primarily relies upon finding information and uh, events of interest out of those things. So uh, information analytics is something that I use uh, on a daily basis. It comes in many forms. Sometimes uh, a tool can be of really good help uh, using statistical uh, enumeration helps, sometimes uh, business relevancy checks helps, sometimes correlation helps, things such as those. Uh, are up my alley um, on the soft skill sides. Uh, solution review, technology review, uh, risk reviews, these are the things that uh, also help me uh, paint the broader picture because all this data technology, they tend to speak uh, a different kind of information or knowledge about what's going and happening in the ground. If you don't understand the context, uh, the business context or the operational context around it, and we use the risk management and the information management processes to achieve that. That's the non-technical uh, part of it. Um, again, uh, this is a two-faced answer. <laughs> uh, by far, I, I love building relationships with my clients. Um, I am still in contact with uh, old and old clients of mine from seven years back, six years back. Uh, which have uh, then moved on to different partners uh, in the technology streams, but I'm still in contact with them. So that's, I think that is the biggest asset that I could think of. Apart from that, I have been part of many cost-saving initiatives, uh, technology investments, especially in cybersecurity tend to be very, very uh, heavy on the pocket, if you know what I mean. Uh, and if deployed properly, uh, they tend, they can be, not such a big eyesore in front of your CFOs. Uh, so something that was uh, something which I was also awarded for was uh, doing a big chunk of cost savings for one of our food and retail client based out of London, uh, one of the biggest food and retail that is in London back in 2017. And yeah, now these are the two things that I'm most proud of. 